This is a PSA, a public service announcement to the brothers. Ladies, you can stick around and listen to if you want. Christian women for the longest time have been told to wait for a man to pursue you. Don't chase after him wait and this is cool but we keep telling the christian women to wait and not telling the christian men to pursue if you plan to lead in marriage lead in the pursuit now when i say pursue i don't mean stalk okay please do not show up to her door at one in the morning talking about some behold i stand at the door and knock no no that's not romantic that's creepy learn to take social cues excuse me can i talk to you for a second what can i get to know you no can i go on a date with you no can I have your number? What? What about your email? No. Twitter? No. Girl, your head is ridiculous. If she's told you no like seven times, please do not use this video as encouragement to keep going after her. Well, it's me again, but the guy at Chase God TV told me that I should. No. No. Stop it. What I do mean is that if there is somebody that you're interested in, Pray about it. Place yourself in positions to get to know her, even if it's just in group settings. Ask about her. Seek wisdom from friends and older Christians to see if this will be a wise decision to go after her. You can be blinded to things that others can see and be patient. Sometimes us guys get so ahead of ourselves that we become so friendly so fast that we haven't even decided whether or not this will be a wise decision to pursue her. So if you move in too quickly, you might get rejected really fast or you might stir her emotions up too quickly. Or you might just change your mind because it wasn't something that you were really thoughtful about. You should care enough about her heart and her emotions that you would not want to lead her on. And this is something to be very careful of because we can do this unintentionally and I'm guilty of this myself. We have to be intentional about pursuing her, but also intentional about guarding her heart. So this takes a lot of prayer and a lot of wisdom because we can get caught up in the moment and not realize that what we say now may sound loving and sweet and caring, but may come back to bite us later on. Trust me, I've learned. Don't let your words go beyond what you've already prayed, thought, and sought wisdom about. And ladies, you should be concerned about guarding your heart as well. And I don't mean guarding like a federal prison guarding, okay? Some of y'all are like Alcatraz. I'm just saying, don't be so quick to open up your emotions to him just because he's cute and knows a few Bible verses or as a 116 tattoo. All right, fellas, if you prayed about it, thought about it, sought wisdom for it, and you still want to move forward, then do that, but still do it cautiously. Be clear about your motives. Let her know what you desire at that particular point. Ultimately, you're looking for a wife, but this is not guaranteeing marriage, okay? That's unnecessary pressure that could lead to disaster. It's just saying that you desire to be with her, and that the end goal is deciding whether or not you two should marry. If you want to move forward with courtship or dating, whatever term you like to use, then do that and ask her father or another spiritual leader in her life. If she doesn't have a father or her father is not really present in her life, then go to her mother, elder, deacon, pastor, uncle, older brother, someone who has been pouring into her life spiritually. This will help keep you accountable and also will show that you respect her and her family enough that you would seek permission from the one who has been leading her. And ladies, you should expect a man to do this. It's not suggesting that you can't make good decisions on your own, but a lot of times, you can't make good decisions on your own. And look, I'm not trying to make fun of you. You know this for yourself. When it comes to romance, our emotions get so involved that we don't always make the best decisions. And I say this to men too, which is why I said seek wisdom from mature Christians before pursuing a woman. Both men and women should be including good Christian wisdom in their decision-making process. Our culture tells us that we can do this all on our own with no help. Do the exact opposite. Having community of people around you in this process does not guarantee that you won't get hurt, but it can prevent a lot of needless hurt and act as a safety net. Okay, fellas, a few quick reasons why you should pursue her intentionally. Number one, you ain't getting any younger. You keep waiting for the woman of your prayers to magically show up at your doorstep. Put action to your faith or it's not faith at all. Number two, Christian women desire to be pursued in a godly and honest way. A godly woman will wait, but we're not helping them when we act timid or play games for a long time until we can finally make a decision. Number three, pursue because the Bible says, husbands, love your wives like Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. And you may say, well, I ain't her husband yet, which is true. But while we were yet in our sins, Christ died for us. Before we were actually saved, he had a plan from long ago to pursue us. We can look back on our lives and see that it was the grace of God that led us to this point. Christ left his throne in heaven, took on flesh, fought temptation, was humiliated, beaten, whipped, and nailed to a cross 
for us. The Bible shows us that while we were dead in our sins, we weren't looking for Christ. Christ was looking for us. He alone initiated our salvation and he didn't half step and he didn't wait for us to get our act together. No, he pursued us as we were broken and a past full of darkness. That's how we should pursue. Pursue her with the heart that says, I know you're not perfect. And I know that your past is full of terrible mistakes, but I want you. And I'm going to show you that I want you. That's what Christ did. We should too. Girl, you've got the walls of Jericho around you. It's all right though. I'm going to keep walking around until they fall. Oh, you thirsty.